So I think I've, I've, I've always loved being part of the farm movement since I uh, got more and more, more and more involved in it. But one, I think the, the reason most of all that I feel this is that to me, not only is our food, you know, maybe next to air, and they, they, that's, that's, that's what we need, is good food and good yeah. air. What up, what up? It's your boy Contraviz34. And about 10 15, 10 20 Eastern time this morning, I found out some awesome news. A local station here, 99.1 WPLR, based out of New Haven, Connecticut, there was an announcement this morning that Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds will be playing on Sunday, September 25th, 2022, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, to close out that Sunday night's sound on sound festival day two i am so excited i am beyond excited that it's dave matthews and tim reynolds and it is not the full band okay here's what i'll say dave and tim seeing them at farm aid right twice which is you know a festival it's a fundraiser they are amazing no matter what they play and to me my I'm so much more amazed at just having the isolation of Dave and Tim, both on acoustic guitars, and the mastery that comes from that, than I am seeing a full band festival show. Now, yes, a full band festival show is going to bring a lot more Dave Matthews Band fans out, because it's a full band. It's going to have a, a, a higher energy, it's going to be a wall of sound, right? And that's that's it is what it is, but to me, I believe that Dave and Tim by themselves are going to bring more respect and appreciation to what these two do as fans who may be watching them for the first time at this festival um, will experience on that Sunday. Dave and Tim have such a balance. They have an acoustic percussive heaven that they create whenever they take the stage at a festival and like i said i've experienced this a couple of times with people who didn't really know the band and knew dave matthews band and they're they're, they're next to me oh they see i'm dancing and i'm doing stuff like oh what song was that oh this tim guy is really good when i was at farm aid both times that's the type of reaction i got versus a full band show which you're going to get a cookie cutter set they may appreciate the covers of watchtower or sledgehammer cool but I really think that this show and any show Dave and Tim do at a festival is just going to be great no matter what they play. And there's going to be a good, there's going to be a respect that any musician in the audience, any music fan in the audience is going to be like, hey, these guys actually do some pretty cool things. I had my preconceived notions about them, but I really like this kind of acoustic setup. Also, for me personally, there were certain Dave Matthews band songs that I just, eh, when I hear it live, I'm just, eh, go to the bathroom, eh, it's I. But when I hear them Dave and Tim style, I enjoy them thoroughly. For instance, Don't Drink the Water is the case in point. When I hear Don't Drink the Water full band, this song has gotten so loud, it's gotten so Tim C. D. C. as I call it, where you have the harmonics from him and the horns and it's too loud the whole time. That's not what the song's about. It's about stealing someone's land slowly but surely and boom, we got it. So there's a climax that's not there anymore because it's too dang long, loud, the whole song. But Dave and Tim, Dave and Tim do Don't Drink the Water, and it feels like you're at a campfire listening to an old story of how, you know, what happened to this land in America. And I love that. I love some of the songs that I think are okay. Like, for instance, if they do Samurai Cop acoustically, it's better with Dave and Tim than it is full band, in my opinion, right? Even some of the new songs like Do You Remember? The songs that Dave and Tim do are much more, they, they're much more fulfilling for me as a musician, as a music fan, than the full band just trying to be a wall of sound for some of these cookie cutter songs, right? I love Dave and Tim, especially now, right? The full band does not have that violin, so when you, you have certain songs that were violin heavy, they just don't hit as much with the full band. But Dave and Tim, are, it's its own magic. The, the, the pair has virtually unchanged how they play this music from when they first started in the early 90s to present day. That's what I like about it. It's consistent. 
But with a full band, you'll have certain things like obviously Roy passed, obviously there's no violin. And I, again, I love this band still. I love this band, don't get me wrong. But they have messed, some of the songs have regressed in my opinion because they don't let uh, you know Dave play acoustically on Jimmy thing. They don't let Stefan's bass have the space it had before Rashawn and Tim full time, not Tim you know, showing up in 95 and 98 and what have you, but Tim full time plays over. And the balance is getting better. They're letting Buddy play out more. But the reason I'm excited for Sound on Sound, why, why I will be there without a shout of a doubt as a Connecticut resident, I don't miss Connecticut shows. I'm gonna be there, but I, I'm gonna enjoy this Dave and Tim masterpiece that will take the stage. Thank you, Jimmy K, a promoter at, that, that's based out of the Wallingford uh, Oakdale, who is a legend in Connecticut. He's the reason Dave and Tim came during uh, the, the big whiskey era. Um, I think that was like, what, 2010? That was a legendary show at, at the Oakdale, an intimate venue um, and kind of small for Dave and Tim, um, even though they do theaters, but he got that done. And those were legendary shows uh, at the Oakdale that Dave and Tim did. So I appreciate Jimmy K. Shout out to 991 WPLR. They always are breaking these stories. And um, again, I think this is gonna be better than the full band. It's a smaller festival as well, but I think Dave and Tim, I will take them any day over the full band at a festival, keyword festival. I love the full band when they're touring. The momentum of how they do the show flows for a full show is awesome. And I think that that should be something that stays out of festivals. We had Innings Fest, that was an outlier for the last eight years. And we had a two-step opener for Railbird, but the rest of that was cookie cutter. So, I, like I said, I love this full band during the regular tour stops, even when they play the songs I don't like. But there's a better show flow and it's a better experience to get that full DMV feel full band instead of getting a partial show or show, even if they cut three or four songs because of a festival, it doesn't feel the same. So, Dave and Tim was the right choice. This is gonna be an awesome event to get people back to Bridgeport uh, for the first time since Gathering of the Vibes, which uh, you know was discontinued. And they're also, next year, this festival is gonna add a second weekend of more jam band type bands, apparently. So you're gonna have two weekends, potentially, in 2023. And as a Connecticut resident, as a person who loves the state of Connecticut and loves the business and economics here, I'm trying to help make things better by supporting local events, um, from marathons to jazz fest to whatever comes into Hartford, um, and now whatever comes into Bridgeport. I love live music in Connecticut. We need to support live music in Connecticut. And this is a great step. The promoters of this event, the, the people who are putting this together, I appreciate what they're doing for this state, which I love despite the extremely high taxes and some messed up stuff where it's the cost of living is ridiculous right now. But anyway, this is great. Let me know what you think. It's your boy Conservist34. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Peace.